Okay, so this is when we're looking at um, using box plots and then finding out that there's outliers, which are bits of data that are away from everything else. So what I've done is I've entered in these numbers here in the graphic calculator into list one. So now we want to do a graph, so same deal. Go to F1, we want to set it up. So we come to stat graph one. This is going to be a box plot. Notice when you come down the box plot, it says what list you're going to use. I'm using list one, frequency is one. It's got outliers off. So if you come down here and turn them on, when you draw it, um, it will then put in the outliers. So let's just make sure that we select that one, draw on, draw it, and we can draw it. So notice I'm drawing stat graph one, where my data is. Go draw. And these little squares here are your outliers. So when you draw your box plot, you can draw it like this, and you'll end up with outliers hanging up here. Depending on your version of graphic calculator, you might end up having a line with a, another vertical line going through like this. That's still an outlier. Um, and to work out which ones they are, you know, shift, trace, notice that the dot there, that means one is an outlier. Then it gives you your, lower, uh, your minimum, your lower quartile, median, upper quartile, maximum. And then it gives you your upper quarter, uh, your outliers that are at the top there. So it's 17 and 6 and 1. So if you have a look around here, it's taking that piece of data out, that piece of data out, 17 and 16. If you're going to do any calculations on this, so if you go exit, exit, and you're doing calculations, please remember that, that all the numbers are still there. So if you're going to recalculate the mean or the median or the mode, any of them, you've got to go into here, take out those outliers, and then do the calculations again.